Good morning, or whenever you're watching this. It's me, Risa. I'm not in my kitchen. I'm outside for a beautiful walk. And I'm in the most gorgeous area near my house. I couldn't believe that I found these gorgeous houses. Um, I will show you some of them as I'm walking because they're just incredible. They're massive. The gardens are beautiful because it's summertime right now and the living is easy. Well, I'm off for the summer because I teach special education and uh, it's been a crazy year. Again, depending on when you're watching this through um, the pandemic. And uh, I just love surrounding myself with beautiful areas, you know, and that's a really good tip. When you go walking, find different beautiful areas that will just uplift your spirits. Today, I wanted to talk to you about choices and health. Choices and health. Why? Because that's what will determine your journey, right? All the choices that you make. Oh, it is sunny. I don't know if you can see this mansion here. They're all mansions. I can just, I wish I could be a fly in the wall and be inside their homes or in their backyards because when you see the front of these, they're absolutely stunning. And yes, I, I get distracted easily. So um, if I start talking about something and then I get distracted by these beautiful homes, I apologize, but I will share the beauty of them. So why am I talking about choices? Because our whole entire journey depends on them. Yesterday, I went to see my hairdresser, um, my daughter and I, and I'm really glad she was there as well because she could hear some of the things that he was talking about. And what he said really, really resonated with me. Here's some more. Um, and he really, um, and the reason why I'm talking about my hairdresser of all people, Anthony, who I adore and I've known for like 35 years, um, and I'll tell you that story, how I followed him, my mother and I, for all these years, wherever he went, because when you find a hairdresser, it's like a doctor, you stay with them, right? Anyways, back to the choices. Last summer, he didn't feel well. And you know, I always say that our health is our wealth. And um, he ended up having to have brain surgery. I know, very, very scary. Um, he lost his ability. Um, it started with his hand going numb. And I believe it was some type of an aneurysm, almost an aneurysm. And he had to have surgery and he was all alone because it was the pandemic and that was super scary for him and afterwards he told me that you know being all alone and having the best uh, doctors and nurses and occupational therapists and physical therapists to help him um, but the biggest thing that you know, I took away from this conversation was about his choices. And that's what he said. He said, Risa, I had a choice to be, you know, defeated and um, just, you know, not try and help myself or to be positive, be positive and work through it um, and get back to you know a life he said i was scared for my family even more than myself even though i was all alone he said i was really really worried about you know his finances um his 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 children his wife his siblings all his relatives that you know god forbid because he said you know they said there was a great chance um, if he didn't get operated, he would definitely die. And if he did 
have the surgery, there was a possibility that he still could. And this poor guy had to deal with this by himself. So my point is that he has pushed himself so hard. He said he had to learn how to talk. He had to learn how to walk all over again. And, and also his nutrition. He said he has had to change um, all his habits. And those are really hard to break. You know, um, if you've watched any of my other videos, it takes at least three weeks to change and form a new habit. So, you know, I always say slow and steady wins the race. I should I show you more homes here? I love this area. And, and that's good because when you do anything slow and steady, then it will last a lifetime. And that's what you want. You want to form a lifestyle, not a diet. So choices make a huge impact on everything that you do every single day. Sometimes we don't make always the best choices and we make, I don't even want to say mistakes really, um, you know, because we learn from the choices we make. You know, if we veer, if we don't exercise, you know, if we decide to, um, you know, just eat something that we haven't had for a long time, it's okay. It's not about perfection. And, you know, he had to basically, you know, fall off the bike and get back on and learn to ride, just like our diet, you know, and having all the, all the uh, choices um, that were in front of him that he was able to get, you know, and having the support. And that's a huge one, you know, so he could have just said, no, I don't want to, I don't want the help. And a lot of times we think that we can do everything by ourselves. And I know for myself, having the support of WW people, my family, my friends, um, and making that choice to tell everybody and be accountable was huge. Okay, here, so here's another beautiful home. Look at the flowers. Just stunning, right? I had to share that with you. So that is really important, and that's a big tip. You know, he couldn't do it alone, and I couldn't do it alone, losing 130 pounds, for those of you that don't know my story. And I can tell you about that as well. Um, you know, and so he had the support, he went for help and I said, oh my God, Anthony, a year ago you were having brain surgery and now slowly but surely he was coloring my hair, my daughter's hair. He's doing men's haircuts and helping other people, um, feel good about themselves because it makes him feel good. He said, you know, just walking every day. And I said, yep, hello. That's what I do every day. I try, or at least almost every day, I do give myself a rest day to get up and go for a walk, set your alarm early. And uh, he has a dog, so that helps him too. Um, so he takes his dog, Marley, who's adorable, for lots of walks. And that helps mentally, physically, socially, emotionally. Because when you're outside and you see like beautiful, beautiful scenery like I am, it's uplifting. It makes you feel good, right? Um, and you don't have to sprint. You don't have to do, start off with an hour. You know, you just start with, you know, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and then build yourself. And that's what I think a lot of people don't understand when they're making these choices. They make huge goals that set themselves up and you can't accomplish them. So when you set yourself up for success by doing a little bit at a time, then you will build on that success and you know, you'll see the results. So it's not always just about the weight. It's all those non-scale victories. So eating 
is a choice. What you eat, you know, what you decide to make, going shopping, meal planning, meal prepping. People get so overwhelmed and it can be, but you know, what I like to do is make bigger portions so that I can freeze, you know, my food. I'm going up this big hill and it's tiring. I'm gonna go right up to the end of this hill and then walk back because then I'm gonna push myself today. I'm going on a different route. I love going on different routes. But you know, I mean, think about all the foods that you enjoy. And that's what Anthony does. You know, he said that he gave up red meat for a while and he's learned to make different fish and chicken and eggs, not f hard, f like fattening cheeses, lower fat cheeses, lower carbs, lots of veggies, lots of fruits. And then I gave him ideas too, how he can get in more of his veggies you know, in stir fries, in smoothies. And I told them to start eating more green vegetables like zucchini and broccoli and spinach. Spinach is great to add to smoothies because you don't know, like you don't taste it. You might see it. It might be a little green. I like to put in like two cups. Um, and you can, um, in the summertime, like it is now, depending on when you're watching this, you can grill them on your barbecue and eat them raw with some nice dips. I have lots of dips on my YouTube channel that are low fat, low calorie. Look at this, unbelievable. Just the trees are just stunning. Now I get to go down the hill. See, that's my reward. Um, and so you think about what you enjoy. Write out a list of, you know, if you like oatmeal, if you like egg bites, if you like overnight oats, if you like French toast, if you like pancakes, if you like waffles for breakfast, for lunches, tuna, salmon, um, veggie burgers, uh, quiche, stir fries, different types of salads, write out a list for dinner, different types of chicken, casseroles, soups, and I mean, and these can be interchanged. You can have breakfast for dinner and dinner for breakfast. Um, and you can have different uh, lunches, or you can have the same. And I like, like I said, to make lots, freeze things like sauces, burgers, meatballs, casseroles, egg bites, um, waffles, and I have so many recipes, you know, you know, I would get that in, in my, on my YouTube channel. So that, I mean, I don't mind eating leftovers because then it's just quicker and easier so that I don't just grab anything. I have it planned and it will become easier as you do it. Just like anything else, you know, do you think after having surgery, brain surgery of all things, that Anthony, and that's who I want you to think of. I want you to think of Anthony and Anthony can do it. You can do it. All right, let's say that together. If Anthony can do it, you can do it. All right, or think of somebody who you know who's gone through. I mean, my girlfriend has just gone through breast cancer. I'm sure there is somebody, my sister, who has a chronic lung disease, who smiles and sings and tries to be positive as much as she can, having to have people, and she doesn't walk, have people helping her every day and that's not easy to rely on other people and I don't know what your situation is and you may have to rely on other people as well but again mindset and choices will get us through you know the hard times you know I set my alarm earlier and I get myself up, especially when I'm working, so that I can have my me time. And I've talked about that on some of my other podcasts. And that's a choice. Um, and again, some days I say to myself, you are so tired, give yourself a break and rest. Because sleep, getting enough sleep and rest is essential. And that's a choice. So, you know, I've talked about my good friend, Anthony, who I adore and love, who, you know, went through a trauma 
And sometimes if we are going through a trauma, you know, journaling, writing down our feelings, talking to somebody, talking to friends, family, a doctor, whoever you need for support. Exercise really helps the brain. If you need, um, I go for physiotherapy for my shoulder because if there's things that are wrong and you can't do all the different types of exercises, then you need to get the support from whoever it is, occupational, physical therapy, a massage, chiropractor, whatever you use to get better, right? And then find the different types of exercises that are going to help you. And of course, being accountable. That's why I started my YouTube and to pay it forward and my um, Facebook group, WW Tips and Recipes by Risa, um, so that I could be accountable. And I told everybody at work, my family, my friends, and posting. So when you make my recipes, my friends, post and tag me because I love, I'm not a chef, but I love seeing that other people um, are utilizing my YouTube because there's almost like depending again when you're watching this 800 videos so there's no excuses you can find tons I mean I'm not the only youtuber or Pinterest you can find so many options and a lot of people say but I don't like this and I don't eat that you can still find things and trust me when you're hungry you learn to like different things okay you do you honestly do um, because when you're hungry everything tastes so much better right so again slow and steady staying positive and you know sometimes what I do I mean at nighttime as a distraction I go on my air climber which isn't so um, like stressful because like I mean it relieves my stress but it's not like sometimes when people are you know thinking oh exercise it's so difficult find something my hula hoop my air climber my exercise ball I mean it can be depending on how you use it um, just a relaxing distraction and it's like a two-for-one you watch your programs and you get to work out but you don't have to overexert yourself. That's the word I was looking for. You don't have to overexert yourself. Um, and if you like to knit or draw or paint or just talk on the phone, find a distraction if you know you're thinking about veering. Now, there are lots of lots of different snack options. You can go and look at my snack options and I'm going to do more videos on snacking because you know hello how many of us are snackers we love our snacks so I don't want you to deprive yourself either with the choices you make whenever I go out especially I don't know if you guys shop at home sense or Marshall's or winners or you just go into like whole whole foods or health food stores there are so many different things that I love to look at these lentil snacks these quinoa snacks um, and try different things. There's lots of um, really great Halo ice cream, Chapman's. Um, I love Dairy Queen in the summer. And you can find some of my frozen treats also as well, you know, that you can make. Um, but sometimes we just want something quick. We don't feel like cooking. Hello, just because I bake and I make lots of things. Of course, I want things that you can just grab. Um, that are guilt-free right so don't deprive yourself either because that will lead to poor choices not bad choices poor choices but again you know we'll learn from them and the other choice is getting back back on track immediately when you're on vacation it's your birthday we always say calories don't count but be mindful oh, it's a little loud because people are um, because this area is so gorgeous, people are getting, um, their gardeners are definitely out. If they can afford houses like this, I guess they can afford uh, gardeners. So I apologize. I'm going to be walking past them very soon. 
the birds are chirping like how nice is that so hold on a second oh my god here's another house and here's another house um just love this so i want you to know that be still be mindful even when you're having your treats don't i mean again i mean i'm not saying i'm perfect because trust me there are some nights that when i'm not intermittent fasting that i'm eating more than usual so but then i try to i do get back because um the biggest thing i think of is anthony i also think of a stop sign and i think about my why because that's really important and key with your choices so that you get back on track anyways i've given you a lot of food for thought hello you like that one i've given you a lot of food for thought about your choices to be healthier to be happier to be successful on your journey what's going to set you up so that you stay positive happier successful remember all the non-scale victories too you know being able to fit into new clothes being able to feel more confident having built your self-esteem and your self-worth to know that you're in control what you're in control and also positive affirmations because Anthony had to say positive things as well to make himself feel good so again if Anthony or anybody you can use any name can do it you can do it I can do it we can do it together where I'm here for you you know you can PM me if you need extra help um, all my recipes and ingredients are under each of my videos so please share and um, post and tag me when you make my recipes I love seeing them my Facebook group WW tips and recipes by you know who me Risa and um, and stay healthy stay happy stay positive stay on track stay motivated stay determined okay because uh, it's worth it our health is we can't buy it we can't buy it um, but we can sure enjoy um, these beautiful sceneries um, look at look at the flowers here just gorgeous um, I told you I go in different areas so I love you guys please comment like share subscribe okay i hope you've subscribed and tell other people about my channel love you guys have a great one take care bye for now